he knew who he was the minute he walked out on the field. He was the figurehead. He was number eight. Solid, consistent, steady Troy. A no-nonsense, no BS guy. Let's just go out and play football and win. From 1989 to 2000, Troy Aikman epitomized the ideal NFL quarterback. With his endless will to fight and strong arm, he was the heart of the Dallas Cowboys. The big night, guys. Let's start fast and let's compete. 60 minutes. Let's go win on three. One, two, three. Win! Aikman led an offensive attack that opponents found nearly impossible to contain. Whether it was connecting with Michael Irvin or handing off to the NFL's all-time leading rusher, Emmitt Smith, Aikman controlled the destiny of America's team. He's the most accurate thrower I think has ever played the position. When he was right, when he was hot, he was as good as I've ever seen. He was the catalyst, he was the leader, no question about it. When you look at what happened to him over the years and how many times he really got leveled, he was a guy who played game after game in as much pain as any quarterback of his day. I think there was fire. I think there was fire in his eyes and there was fire in his heart. He wanted to win games, and he knew what he had to do to win games. With a burning desire to be the best, Aikman raised expectations in Dallas and turned the young Cowboys into shining stars. Four years earlier, we were the worst team in football. Four years later, we're winning the world championship and we're on top of the world in pro football. It was a great time for all of us. Number eight remains the winningest quarterback of any decade in NFL history. But to the Dallas Cowboys, his legacy will always be his six division titles, three Super Bowl victories, and 12 memorable seasons. Looking back in your whole career, what's the most vivid memory you have about football? It was the first Super Bowl. I threw a touchdown pass to Alvin Harper to pretty much seal the game. We knew we were going to win the game at that point. I had never raised the number, I'd never done this after, at any point in my career. It's the only time in my career that I ever gave the number one signal when I was running down to congratulate Alvin. Then I came over to the sidelines, the look on everybody's faces, the celebration, to me is, is really what captures my imagination whenever I think of my entire athletic career because to me it defines what my whole career was about and it defines what, what hopefully I represented as a player in that it was always about the team being successful and that picture captures a team that was successful.